Well, how are you folks and welcome back to a wee quickie here at Whiskey Street with me, Big Al. I haven't done this before, but I might do more in the future. It's just a wee uncorking and it's of this new Irish whiskey here. I'll get it into the middle, called Morn Dew. Get it straight. Now, this is the triple distilled version. I'll turn it around for you. There's also a single malt. But this is a new whiskey from a distillery just what a few miles down the road from where I live. And this is their first offering. They've also got a single malt out and I'll endeavour to pick it up as well. But uh, they started off doing gins, uh, which are indeed quite popular. I haven't tried any of them because I'm not really into gin. And they do a couple of pot gins as well. And I've had the Puga one and it for something that's only been in a bar for 10 weeks, I have to say it's pretty nice and pretty reasonable and will definitely be up for buying another bottle of this. But anyway, let's get this boy opened and I'll give you my first impressions. By the way, I like to do the seal here, even it can be uh, a bit of a bugger sometimes to get them off, but that was pretty easy. So, that one's sticking to me. Mm. Right. off pretty nicely so uh, let's get it up there into the glass or we dram and we'll see what it's like so let's see what the first impressions are we'll go on and do a wee uh, well a full in-depth review in due course Molly chocolate Green, some floral influence there as well. A wee bit of a hay note as well, a wee sort of a nice field agricultural thing going on. Yeah, quite decent on the nose, I have to say. But it's always hard to tell on the, on, on the neck pour because it's just it doesn't give the full impression of the bottle. So let's give it a wee go on the palate and uh, see what the first impressions are there. Green, bit of white spice, malty. And some of that like hay thing going on again as well. It's it's leaving that wee spicy tingle on the tongue. But straight off, it's as malty, it's creamy, it's got a nice mouthfeel. And I have to say, it is rather smooth. I know a lot of people don't like that word, but if it's smooth, it's smooth, just fucking say it. Just fucking say it. So uh yeah, I'll have another wee sip here and uh, mm, quite pleasant first impressions I have to say. A wee bit more of a zing in that one. Probably more black pepper than white pepper this time. Bit of cinnamon around the edges as it goes across the mid palate towards the back. Bit of oak. Dark chocolate. Bit of barrel char. Now I'm not sure what age this is, I'll have to do a bit more research, but that's a pretty promising first start. I'll say this recommended retail price for this is around the 30 quid mark. And I uh, Although I think I got this for a, a few quid less up in the local store, the barbecue now and on along. And uh, hmm, pretty decent first impression. So I'm looking forward to getting on down to this bottle, taking a few notes, spending a bit of time with it, letting it open up and just see how much it improves with a bit of time because that's generally what happens. So 
Anyway, that's my first uncorking. Hopefully it won't be my last. I'll probably do it a few more times and then we'll follow up with a proper review. So cheers folks, thanks for tuning in and as I say always, look after yourselves, look after each other and make sure you keep on drinking your whiskey the way. Ooh, the finger, I've got the different lens on, look how close it goes. Ah. Keep on drinking your whiskey the way you like it. Yay. Thanks for watching folks, I really do appreciate it. Please check out these other reviews and if you'd like to support the channel, the best way is by subscribing, liking and commenting. And don't forget to ring that bell for all video notifications so you don't miss out on any future content. Cheers.